Hello Few Candy here and welcome back to Funilla County and we are just admiring the city from one of my new favourite view spots of the downtown from up in our all area here. And we're actually going to be filling out this little green patch here today and I'll try and remember to come back at the end of the episode and check if this still is my favourite viewpoint or not. I may forget but I will try and remember. But there we go, that's what we're going to be doing today and before we jump into that I do just want to go into loads of naming which I promised in the last episode. So thank you to everyone for your wonderful suggestions as always and we are starting off today with the Ore area and I'd like to thank Star Stuff for this wonderful name of Mirad Ore, that's what we've gone for here. Mirad means viewing platform or deck in Spanish and obviously our Ore area with its amazing views across the city should be appropriately named Mirador. Love that. Absolutely love that. Thank you, Star. Then we head over here and we've got currently Heather's suggestion of Greenilla Heights for our Green Cities High Density District on the outskirts of the downtown here. Love that name. Thank you so much, Heather, for that. Awesome, awesome. Love the play on Funilla as always. And then let's head on over to this side where we have Pilot Build Cities suggestion to name our very crammed in area, Crammed in Town. A bit of a play on Camden Town in London. So we have got Cramden Town for the area and Cramden County Fair for our theme park over here, the tiniest theme park I've ever built at least. <laughs> so thank you so much Pilot for those. And then finally for today we're going to head on back over to our little suburb that we were working on last time. And I've kind of taken a bit of an amalgamation of several of your suggestions for this because there were just so many good ones honestly. Little shout out to Star Stuff with Elderly Arsonist's Retreat suggestion as well. That was that one made me laugh, thank you. So let's start off by saying Nicolaj11 suggested that we name it after a made-up fictional character, which I absolutely love the idea of. But Edward Bickford and David Shot both mentioned Iron Grandpa from my Oridon series, who was an absolute legend, let's face it, Thomas Chapman. And we've got this helicopter memorial in the centre here, so maybe Thomas Chapman, the Iron Grandpa, was indeed an old war vet. And he came here to retire after his adventures in Oridon, getting run over multiple times in the middle of the road. So, on the back of that then, Ben suggested Ironside Homes, which I love. So I've actually gone for this district called Ironside, and then we've called the actual elder care area the T. Chapman Ranch, taking kind of Nicolaj 11 suggestion, but also Jake's suggestion, saying that it reminded him of a ranch, to call it a ranch, really like that. So basically thank you to all of you <laughs> for coming up with these names. So we have Ironside and the T. Chapman Ranch. And a further little nod on the back of that goes to Connor Ellis Music with the suggestion to rename the terrible bus line name that I'd put in to the Elder Line. So we have now done that as well. As always, thank you so, so much. And I was looking around the city. We still need names for Walnut Hills over here on the edge of Tyler. And also, what, well, what's currently called Myrtle Heights and Cherry Park over here on the other side as well. So we do still need those. So let me know. Oh, and also the, the rural farm area on the outskirts of Franklin's farm as well. Yeah, we need names for all of those. So do let me know in the comments below, along with our new district that we're putting in today. So that was a long intro, so let's actually talk about what we're going to do and get on with the build. So the plan is to have a kind of rundown town centre in the middle of this area, which will have a few little shops, a plaza, I think probably a bus station as well maybe, which I think would be helpful to serve this local neighbourhood. Uh, I don't really want to bring the trams across here, I don't think, maybe further down this way, but not into this area. And I don't want to have another rail line stop here too, so I think buses would be their main form of transport. So we'll add that in, trying to be really selective about our commercial assets. We also then want a rundown suburb, and the difficulty with this is we're going to use university housing assets for it, and they do not come with a theme in vanilla. So it's going to be a hell of a lot of selectivity to get the assets that we actually want in here, and very careful zoning for it. So we'll come on to that. Plus then we're also going to add an allotment, a trailer park, a bunch more details and also a little truck stop over here which was a lovely idea by Martin Hune to have a garage with a grocery store and petrol and things like that over here so we're going to add that in I'm going to call it a truck stop on the outskirts of town I like that Mike Van Data also suggested regular industry with storage 
I think we're going to bring in some of that vibe. I don't have massive industrial demand, so we may save this little space for a little industrial area on the outskirts of town as well. But that was another great suggestion. And another nod to star stuff, I also mentioned a pub. We'll make sure we've got a pub in the town centre. <laughs> Absolutely. So to start off with, I'm going to work on the town centre area and I'm literally just going to come a crossroads straight out of this all area. I feel like that'll be a nice busy central crossroads there. And we're going to go into a little kind of central plaza area here. Now I have one of the plazas in mind for this and we're going to use one of the plazas and promenades DLC assets which is the statue plaza here. But what I would actually like to do, I'm going to just see if we can upgrade i don't think oh it is gonna let us there we go upgrade that road to wide because the thing is with this plaza is it's a little bit lopsided to be a sort of center focal point in our town like it's got these seats on one side but not on the other so yeah if we just upgrade that road to a four wide road and then come back and downgrade it to two wide we're left with an open border in here which we can then come in and use the props from the plazas and promenades DLC to match what is in the other side of it. So like we've got these shelters and we've got four of them along here. So let's place these in. And this will just give it a little bit more uniformity in the middle of our town centre here, which I will personally quite enjoy. And then we've got benches under each of these. So let's go ahead and add those in as first green card in vanilla without the collision meshes interfering with it like that we're on a slight slope there but i don't think that's too much of a problem and then we've got a couple of little planters as well i'm noticing so i think let's go back to the plazas and promenades assets yes yeah, so we've got these ones along the back in between all of the shelters and a couple of those ones at the front so again yeah we can completely mirror this design to help make it feel right at home and we don't, we don't have the little extra lights, I don't believe. Although it does look like a bollard. Maybe we put in the bollard, actually. and we'll see how that fits. It's not too dissimilar. Okay, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's have those in. And then we've got, yeah, quite a nice little central square, I think, for our town centre here. Now I'm realising these nodes are way too close together. So what I'm actually going to do is change this up a little bit. We're going to go for a four lane road coming out like that and then we're going to go into one way kind of couplet system essentially so we'll bring this one out like that and then we're going to curve them as smoothly as we can back into here that's uh that's not too shabby and then we'll just want to change the direction here so it flows nicely obviously they're going to do janky things here and probably u-turn but that's okay that's okay. And then what we will do is we'll continue this coupler up this way. So we'll upgrade those two pieces of road there. And then I think at this end, what we will do is continue the coupler to meet a four way road that's going to come across here. It'll almost be sort of like a slight ring road to our town is what I'm thinking here. Just like that. So that's going to give us our kind of town center design here. And then this road, we do want to continue this on. So I'm actually going to curve this round sort of where the edge of the suburb will be. And we'll continue it on round like this, which is going to kind of be a bit of a ring road here. And then I do want to meet up with this road and connect in these other connections we've got coming across from the downtown too. do pretty nicely for connecting into our downtown here and of course they've got direct access straight onto the highway as well there to get in and out of the city or through to other areas of the city as well so i think it's pretty well connected so i'd like to get some commercial in obviously around our town center here which i think would be absolutely appropriate so we'll get some nice big blocks of commercial either side like that I think we will also put ones in here as well just to frame this off a little bit it's kind of surrounded by commercial all around that central plaza area like so now i mentioned a bus station as well and i kind of the, the main vanilla one is just too huge this is a small town sort of area i feel like just a small bus station would be absolutely plenty for this so i think we're going to add this in right behind the shops over this side but we could do something kind of nice with it, I think, and add in potentially, if this will overlap, 
We'll find out in a second. Yes, it will. An airport apron really nicely with the back of it. Because then we can do a touch of detailing later on, perhaps on that, but then it feels like it's in slightly more open place. And actually what I will do just before this comes in, let's press pause. Yeah, let's delete that. We're going to do the same old trick here. We're going to upgrade this to a four lane road. Then we're going to go ahead and place in our bus station like this. And then we're going to go back and downgrade this to just our two lane and it will still remain connected. And it just gives us a little bit more breathing room there. And then I think as well, we can actually come in potentially with another airport apron here, just to make sure that gap at the front, yeah, isn't there like that. And we can use this over the plaza because I noticed there's a very small gap in the front there as well. Annoyingly, I've just realized this isn't centralized. But anyway, I do like the frame, <laughs> framing of the props on either side. So hopefully it's still worth it. But there we go. So in terms of the type of commercial assets we want here, I want really some of the university city ones. I don't mind this, so we'll historicalize that and keep that there. I feel like this is a little bit low to be around the town center. That's that same asset repeating coming in there. We've got a garage. Mm. Garage is probably all right. You can stay. I think these all need to upgrade a little bit. I actually don't mind the Sally's in the middle there, so we'll keep that, but we definitely, yeah, don't want these. So let's let's actually delete these out and see what else comes in. Maybe we'll keep the cafe. I don't mind that too much, the little side road. I think these need to be a bit larger. So we'll delete those out and see what comes in. I'm reluctant to go up too many levels because I think level one is really the style of assets that we're probably going to want here. So we want to be a little bit careful in doing that. We've got another Sally's coming over here, so let's... Uh, Let's get rid of that. So we'll do a bit of like refining of these assets later on, but that's the kind of general shape of it. Now around the town centre as well, I would quite like to delve into a little bit of Brooklyn and Queens assets because there's some really nice sort of row homes within that pack. So if we just highlight a small area here, let's go, ooh, we'll go something like that. And we'll probably actually want to extend it down to the other side around the bus station as well. Then we're going to come into the district and we're going to select Brooklyn and Queens. And then we're going to go into low density and start zoning up very specifically one by two assets. And this will give us some really, really nice little row homes. And of course, I've just realised it's high density we want. So let's <laughs> say so scrap that. And let's try again. OK, so some of the assets are too tall. So we want to get rid of the tall ones and we want to select these little sort of two storey max three-storey townhouses and historicalize those as soon as they come in. So we have finally got them in and we've ended up with this. I actually forgot to historicalize a couple of these and they've grown up to level two, but I'm actually really quite enjoying the dynamic of some little pops in height around our town centre here. And I think actually we could probably elevate that because I did manage to historicalize them all on the other side. Just by adding in one big vanilla tower block is what I'm thinking. And I think we're going to put it over here. So just one little block like that. And let's actually clear out the trees from this area before we build too much right over the top of them. So yeah, hopefully we'll get that tower block in here. We'll try and get it in at least, although that has not gone into a block before. So let's get rid of that and see if we can get it in there. I do also actually want to add in a little bit of parking as well. So I'm thinking, yeah, in the parks menu, we can actually squeeze in a couple of car parks along here. So I think maybe that would be quite nice to do sort of in between that couplet, just two of those there. And let's perhaps add one next to our tower block, which will hopefully eventually spawn in here as well. When we come to do detailing, we'll add things like walking paths on the end of some of these dead end roads just to make sure that they're still connected and it's all feasible and things like that. So we will come on to that. But there we go. We're starting to get a semblance of a town centre. I've actually realised as well, we've got a Penny's and a Sally's in here now. I was thinking maybe there could be some law about competing fast food chains in whatever this town's name is. Uh, we've also got a restaurant there, a cafe outside our bookstore over there. I'm not sure the game start. I don't really want the game. Yeah, I don't really want the game non-stop to stay so that can go and we'll choose something else there. We have actually got one of the university city assets in as well, which is really cool. And it's a dollar express. 
couldn't be more appropriate for the type of town that we're going for so i absolutely love that so the next thing i want to talk about is actually adding in an allotment which i think we're going to do in this space here because i feel like that's probably an appropriate place up next to a rail track fairly close to the center of town it's like this town was sort of built around the ore industry and has expanded over time as more workers have come to the area and new factories were put in up at the top so that's what i was kind of thinking with it so i think having an allotment so close to the town center actually isn't that bad at all that's what i'm gonna go for anyway so yes what we're gonna do for this we're gonna have a little entrance in here and then i'm going to extensively use the hotels and retreats assets for this so I know they're too wide, I think they're two by three. So if we come up in blocks of four, like that, and what we can do is go into parks. Now this is not efficient. <laughs> if anyone wants an efficient city, don't do this. This is purely for aesthetics. But we're gonna place in a load of these all back to back like this. And what we want is that allotment version of it. So we'll come in here and we'll select that. And if we get loads of these, maybe we could have a little pond in the middle. Or oh, maybe someone put a shed on their allotment, a gazebo. Do we want a little bit of variation in here? No, I think, I think we're going to go full allotment. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue this up here as well. We'll add in another four of those. And I'm wondering, can we get in a couple more perhaps? If we go a little bit further with our road here. If we come up and across like that, we could potentially connect it into this road not going to like it maybe up this way we'll do that yeah something like that will be okay so let's just fill these couple out and we could add in potentially a couple more here i think in fact actually let's just bring this road down this side so we can kind of connect it up in a nice circle and you could easily drive around the allotment plots to get to your own plot here now, i don't think we want to go too much closer to the rail than that now this is a bit wonky here. So in the detailing, I might come in and fix the land a little bit, but I don't kind of mind that. There's an allotment on a really steep hill, fairly close to where I live. So I feel like maybe, maybe it'll work. Even if the flower beds are floating off the ground, they're raised beds. That's what we're gonna say, they're raised beds. So yeah, there we go. We have got a little allotment in here. So yeah, I think that's a nice little feature for the town to be based around. And we'll obviously fill out more with houses around here as well, so it doesn't look quite so out of place <laughs> right next to our town centre there. Now the other thing I do want to do is have a look at trying to put in a little trailer park, which I think we might actually just put into this section here. So the assets that I want to use for this are actually Hearts of Career assets. There is an amazing little one by one asset, which is just perfect. <laughs> for this kind of use I think so yeah let's bring out let's bring out a dirt road and we'll kind of connect them into this and again we'll make this fairly uniform across here I think something even as basic as a square like that I don't think would be too bad then we want to change this to heart of career and we're going to come into low density zoning and zone up a whole load of one by ones and this is going to give us the look of a trailer park hopefully i'll let you be the judge of that when it comes to the end and yeah this is the one it's even got like washing hanging out the front of it like perfect perfect little trailer home i think especially with this kind of makeshift decking out the back really 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 like the look of these and the different colored roofs as well awesome so yeah we're gonna have a whole bunch of these in here i think potentially with a path running through the middle of it so maybe we'll keep the concrete going on the assets themselves and actually just place a concrete path through the middle and then we can do a few dotted trees and things like that around which would look nice and yeah it, it looks quite awful right now but it will come together in the detailing i'm confident i'm confident now i did also promise star stuff a pub <laughs> so let's um let's see if we can get one in here so I'm actually just going to create the tiniest, tiniest little district like that. We're going to add the tourism specialism to it. And then we're going to zone up a two by two commercial block in here. What we can do is a little bit of nice detailing around it to extend out the pub gardens, pub beer gardens, I think too. So we will definitely come in and do that. In fact, let's actually put it on this spot here. We can just edge that over just a tiny bit without interfering with anything else. Let's hope that we get 
the little Irish pub asset in there. And that's what we're counting on. And the trailer park is uh, starting to fill up nicely. Of course, we do want to go around and historicalise these buildings as well. So I'll make sure that's done. Otherwise, they are going to grow up into tower blocks, I believe, at higher levels. So we don't really want that in here. Okay, and that is definitely not the Irish pub asset. That is a giant hotel. <laughs> so let's get rid of that. But actually, speaking of hotels, could we fit in potentially our roadside motel into here? Could it be right at the entrance into the town or do we want to kind of incorporate that as part of the truck stop over here? Let's see if we can lay out the truck stop and then we'll kind of make a decision on that once we know what assets are going to go in here. So let's just grab a road. We're going to come straight out. So we want to make sure our snapping is on for this. And we'll bring this out like that. Uh, we do not have zoning on. <laughs> that doesn't help. There we go. Okay, so we want a garage in here, which is a four by three commercial asset. So let's see if we can get that in. I'm trying to think the best orientation for it. Yeah, it would probably be this way. Let's see if we can successfully move the zoning from this road here, which we can. Wonderful. So I'm going to go four by three here and it's a level two. So we have to be a little bit more patient with that one. And then a couple of other assets I think would work nicely. I think we will put the hotel in here, the budget hotel. Yeah, I feel like that's that's going to be a nice asset for here. So yeah, we'll we'll add this in definitely. I'm just wondering if we can align it actually to the end of this road here. So if we just move it over a little bit, that at the air, that entranceway, yes, so you can kind of drive straight into the motel. Love that. I also think maybe we incorporate one of these Japanese sort of drive-in assets as well which have a little bit more parking on them too I don't think we want to go as as big as the sort of service station there potentially this one though that could be quite nice the ground is an absolute disaster here though <laughs> we probably should have done a little bit of flattening and preparing before we added these in that's not so bad though so I don't mind that we also, just thinking about it, have the mid-century modern kind of motels here too, but we also have the roadside diner, which has a wonderful big sign. I think this has got to go in here actually. Yeah, no choice to that. So let's get rid of this commercial asset here. Let's put in the roadside diner because then that sign is gonna be nicely up against the road. Again, I think I will come in and flatten this all a little bit in the detailing time lapse so we don't have such janky terrain. So yeah, we will go ahead and do that. But let's get the assets in for now that we want in here. Um, I definitely, definitely do want a garage. So let's move this one over a little bit and then we'll put the garage on this corner here. Potentially with another commercial unit actually in there as well. Probably wouldn't go amiss. And then I think what we will do to round it off is add in a load of parking. Maybe the big parking lot, something like that. Just as a kind of, yeah, makeshift little truck stop for some of our ore workers there, I think would be nice. Let's also actually get rid of the traffic lights here. So we'll go to junction and we'll just click those away so people aren't stopping for this tiny little truck stop on the corner here. Yeah, I think this is going to work nicely. I will come in and tidy up that terrain on the detailing. So we'll come back to that. And here we go. Yeah, that's what you'll get if you let them upgrade. So <laughs> we don't want that. So for the rest of the district, as mentioned, I do want the university city housing assets because some of them look quite run down. There's a lot of brickwork on them, which I think kind of lends itself to an sort of older mining town, particularly like in the UK, at least anyway. So I, I, I just think they're really nice assets. So I kind of want to get these in here, but they're only certain sizes. So really we want two by two, two by three, three by three and two by four zonings in here. And that's it. So we need to be really specific about it. And then we're also going to have to come through and then make sure that they're actually the university city assets and not just vanilla housing in here. So this is going to take quite a long time, I'll be honest, to get that right. And it may be in the detailing time lapse, I do resort to cheating in the vanilla sense and using Finder just to place these. Just so I'm a little bit kinder on my time to get this right, but it is absolutely more than possible in vanilla. You just need an awful lot of patience. So we're gonna go ahead and get in a load of zoning into here and hope that we're gonna get those assets in. 
this is slightly fractured here so i do want to be a little bit careful i think we'll have a two by two and a three by three in there then we can have another two by two there two by three and the three by three here they should all kind of be all right when they come in in the zone so we'll see how that goes and yeah we'll just need to go round essentially and fill these out so they are all the right zoning sizes so it is just a matter of now seeing what assets come in i'm pretty sure that is already a university city asset actually no we won't that's a vanilla asset <laughs> but actually to be honest i don't mind that too much that's not a bad one so that one could probably stay this one absolutely not no no thank you uh here yes we've got a yes this is exactly the ones that i wanted here let's historicalize this immediately it's got all the trash around it it's got like some nasty decals just trash yes <laughs> trash always makes me happy barbecue swing set in the back like perfect little like slate tile roof brickwork absolutely love it i know it's an american style building and i was talking about uk mining villages but that's the style that i want we are in a fantasy city after all we've got another one here perfect yes let's keep all these that is not one of them so that one can go so yeah we just need to go around and be ridiculously patient and fill out a lot of the rest of this suburbia in like this and of course around this side as well so i think what we will do is finish this off with a pretty epic time lapse quite a lot to do actually
so there we go our finished little suburb and i have to say i was quite worried through the detailing there that this was going to look absolutely awful and not come together but i'm actually quite happy with it in the end although i have realized i have forgotten to take away some of the zones in the trailer park where i had plopped in some trees i tried to break it up a little bit let's start here yeah i tried to break up the monotony a little bit by getting rid of some of the zoning but um <laughs> I've kind of forgotten which ones it was that I actually deleted. I'm guessing it's the non-historical ones, so if we delete those, yeah, our, our little trees will pop back in. Yeah, okay, there we go, that's fixed it a little bit. It's still a very odd area. I think it actually helped having this little park in the middle and some dirt paths running up the middle. And I've put fence all around it because I figured eh, the trailer park's near like where I live. Definitely a fenced in, so I feel like that's okay. The house assets are very cute, but I feel like maybe it's a bit too square for being absolutely perfect for me. But it's a nice kind of concept and idea anyway. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of inspiration. Yeah, actually, these university housing assets weren't too difficult to get in. I've kind of found that generally, like you see, we've got a few vanilla ones dotted in around that I just kind of lost patience <laughs> trying to change. But actually, once we start zoning it in, they do come in pretty readily as long as we've got those zoning sizes right, like I mentioned. So yeah, that has worked out pretty nicely across here. I did cheat with Find It because I kind of forgot about the cinema, but I thought this fitted in really nicely, this little Art Deco cinema and, and the ice cream parlour as well there. We've also added in the Art Deco hotel on this corner. I just felt like it sort of fitted the vibe a little bit of this area. So I did cheat those in, <laughs> I'll be honest. We have finally got Paddy's Pub in as well, and we have called it star stuff pub thank you so much for the idea star stuff there we go we got our pub with a cute little beer garden next to it as well kind of happy with how that turned out actually so yeah, it works all right on the main road <laughs> not too bad and then the sort of awkward zoning again hasn't turned out too badly with a little bit of fencing and some trees and undergrowth and things around it i think it helps to blend it in a little bit this asset was not one that i've played so i've been struggling to get the commercial i really want but actually I don't mind that so that can stay i did also add in all the necessary services of course we're getting that so we do have police down here medical child health care we've got fire over there also got a cemetery right on this edge of it as well which i quite like kind of coming in this brick wall as you come into the corner of the suburb here from the downtown over this side and yeah it does seem like a sea of sort of slate tile roofed housing and all the trash <laughs> is maybe a little bit much but we're working with what we've got in vanilla and i quite like the vibe of it it feels quite distinct and it feels like it's sort of own little neighborhood within funilla county i also actually decided to extend it up to the main collector here which i think really helped because sometimes if you don't want to zone on the collector it definitely ends up feeling like it's sort of a segregated area and i didn't want that i wanted to make sure it felt kind of included into the city and meant to be part of here so i think just a little bit of zoning here has really helped to sit that in a little bit oh we do also have a primary school too we've got plenty of schooling opportunities across funilla so there's no problem there we also have the high density high school right over here so they've not got far to go to a high school so i was kind of content with that i have forgotten to put the bus routes in though so we'll come back to that next time i think i'll add a few definitely heading towards the downtown Maybe back into kind of Tyler actually and then towards the start of the city too to get them around to a few different places. We definitely want some easy transport from here to a transport hub as well. They can then get on the train or the metro or whatever it might be to take them further afield. But yeah, pretty pleased with how it's worked out. I didn't actually change the allotment so there is a little bit of like, uh, we'll just ignore <laughs> these plots on the end because I quite enjoy this sort of slight slope down. And I think it has an element of realism to it for allotments, so I left that. But I did flatten out our truck stop area, which has worked really nicely, actually, because then we can just kind of hide this slope with a bunch of trees, shelters the noise from the houses as well there. Um, and yeah, not a lot really happened to this. I've just added in some fence and a, yeah, some trees, <laughs> undergrowth around it, and that's really it. I think it does sit in quite nicely, though. I'm definitely enjoying the aesthetic of this diner sign as you come in here with the gas station on the corner next to it. Yeah, really enjoying that. And of course, actually, while I'm here, let's not forget to check my little viewpoint that I mentioned at the start of the episode. Here we go. So yeah, you can kind of just about see 
some of these houses peeking out over the top in front of the downtown really liking this tower actually it's those sort of one-off subtle pops in height i think really kind of bring things alive so it's not all kind of uniform the same height across different areas we probably need a bit more of a transition away from this green cities i'm thinking i might develop out this little green belt area here just to bring down that height a bit more in towards some of these suburbs so i think we'll come back to that another time but yeah there we go we've got our little workers or suburb in and i think it sits in pretty nicely to the city so pretty happy with that now one final thing just from this plaza really enjoying how these <laughs> towers sneak out over the top and actually this uh, truck stop here has probably got some of the best subtle skyline views in the whole city like you could kind of just about see it on top of those treetops which i'm really enjoying if you're in this motel yeah you can't see anything but <laughs> it's there like this sort of shot of the skyline with the green cities in the front and really kind of the layers are there it feels dynamic i think so enjoying that view at least anyway but for today that is going to be it so if you have enjoyed the episode likes comments and shares are greatly greatly appreciated and please do get those name suggestions for this new area and the other ones i mentioned at the start of the episode into the comments below so we can give them suitably good names but that is all from me for now so thank you so much for tuning in stay tuned for the cinematics and i'll catch you again next time bye bye